Hi guys, Tim Trowbridge here again with Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan Racing. Another Tech Tuesday here for you. Today we're actually going to go over some in-car communication systems and how they work in an IndyCar. So let's just kind of start as an overall uh, package of what's in the car. Uh, we have our intercom or radio loom as we call it, uh, currently provided by Racing Communications. Uh, that gets installed in the car, uh, kind of goes all over the car. Uh, this is where the driver will plug in their earbuds and it's also where the car radio is installed in the nose. Uh, really long, very uh, time consuming it's loom to install into the car, but this is where all the magic happens. Uh, it's not just the radio box, it's our intercom. So uh, in the last Tech Tuesday with the timing stand, we talked about the timing stand intercom. Uh, the car is also included and it all goes through this box right here. Uh, like I said, everything's connected with the big old car radio. So very important there. Uh, we do not run car powered, we run, we run radio powered. So the radio, as long as the radio is plugged in and powered on, the driver can talk to us regardless of the car is on or off. Uh, the driver also talks through their helmet. There we have a microphone installed, very nice little microphone, also supplied by Racing Communications. Uh, the data engineer's role is part of installation in, of the microphone into the helmet, which connects to their earbuds, which are provided from EM Motorsports. Uh, so this is actually from IndyCar. This not only gives them audio, but it also gives the uh, series acceler acceleration. There's accelerometers inside the earbuds. So not only are there speakers for them to hear us on the radio and the intercom, but it's also a safety feature from uh, EM Motorsports. So if there's ever an accident, this records acceler acceleration. Any accelerations that the driver goes through uh, gets downloaded from the car and is used for safety features. Going back to another Tech Tuesday, we have our steering wheel, as we've done before, we have our radio button as we discussed. That actually is what triggers the radio so that when the driver presses the button, microphone is engaged, sends out audio, and we pick it up on our crew radios, which we also have here, one of our spotter radios, just something standard, same as what we saw on the timing stand, headset with the radio. But pretty, uh, pretty basic system for a very complicated car. Thanks guys for tuning in again for another Tech Tuesday. Look forward to seeing you next time.